Chris Fry says, the last Thrive message at the end really clicked. Eat what you store. Because I had been going through my canned goods recently and had quite a bit that was over four years expired and had to throw out. The food bank can't take expired goods either. So I felt so very bad wasting food. Well, hey everybody, I'm Bill with Live Simple Live Free. And I have a video idea that I've wanted to do for a while, but when I got this comment from Chris Fry, it really brought it to my to the forefront of my mind and thought, you know, I need to do that video. It's talking about how to properly store food. And as Chris found out, if you don't rotate things properly, it's going to go bad. Now, what Chris is talking about here is that uh, in a video I did recently, I finished it by saying uh, store what you eat and eat what you store. So let's look at that a little bit. Store what you eat. Whatever it is, however it is that you eat, that's the food that you want to store. You don't want to start storing a bunch of food that you don't ever use, that you don't know if you're going to like it, or you don't know how to prepare it. Uh, that's one of the problems with so many of the uh, emergency food supply companies that sell packages of food is that m much of that is foreign to you. You're not familiar with it. So you, you might not like it. Or I, I know a lot of people when they first start prepping, they don't know what they're doing. They just go out and buy, you know, 50 pounds of beans and rice. Well, that's fine. You can survive on that. But do you know how to cook it? You're going to get awful tired of just beans and rice unless you have many, many different ways that you can cook it. So if that's not the way you normally eat, you're going to have to completely change your diet in an emergency. And that's not a good thing. So what you want to do is however you eat on a regular basis, that's the food that you want to store. So store what you eat. Don't uh, set yourself up for a surprise when you're ready to eat. Or are you ready to use your, your food storage and find out it doesn't work for you? Now you can store obviously whatever kind of food you want, whatever kind of food you're most comfortable with. If you want to do canned goods from the grocery store, that's probably the cheapest and the easiest way to go. Um, personally, I don't like canned goods like that that much, but I would certainly eat it if I had to. Um, but I also recommend, obviously, if you've watched my channel at all, you know we recommend Thrive Life Food, which is freeze-dried food. Now, when I was talking about the freeze-dried food that you might not be familiar with, I'm talking about companies that sell these packages that have, all have um, entrees in them, where it's a, you know, beef stroganoff or something like that for two people or for four people or something. You don't know what's in those packages. You don't you're not necessarily going to like the way they cook you're not necessarily going to like the meals. That's the beauty of Thrive Life is that because they're all individual ingredients, you can just use them to cook all of your own favorite recipes. So you can continue to eat just the way you normally do. Now, I, if you start just starting with Thrive Life, I do recommend that you at least try a few uh, just to get used to how to use them. It's not difficult to learn, but it is a little bit of a learning curve. So just open a few of the cans if you're only buying it for food storage and not for daily use, at least just open a few of the cans, try a few of them just so you can get used to how, they, how it works so you're not just kind of stumbling around when you actually have to use it for emergencies because you'll already know how to use it. I think that's a pretty basic uh, concept, easy concept to understand. Just store the things that you already eat. Now, uh, eat what you store. This is the place where most people who make errors make the errors is they don't eat what they store. They have a feeling like I've just bought all this food, I'll put it away for long term storage, I'll just leave it there as my emergency supply, I only eat it in case of true emergency. And then all of a sudden they realize five years has gone by and most of what they have in there is expired. It's no longer good. Now I think personally that the exp expiration date on the can, you can eat it considerably longer uh, than that, way past even years beyond that. I would just look at the can and make sure that all the seals are still good, that none of the seals have ruptured or cracked or anything like that, and then I wouldn't have any problem with eating something that's been expired for a couple of years. 
but you can avoid that by rotating the food and instead of just like I said having everything in a storage area and then you buy your groceries and eat it and you don't even think about the storage of the emergency food until you need it what you need to do is every single time you go shopping and you bring something home you need to rotate that through your emergency supplies so here's how to do it and this is the most basic way to do it it's also the most most difficult and most pain in the neck but it'll work without any additional expense let's say you've got shelves okay that are this deep and you've got all your food stored and you're storing cans okay you go to Aldi's or Walmart or Kroger and you just buy cans of, of food so let's say you have a bunch of, of pink cans of peas so you put them in a row and then here you have a row of carrots and here you have a row of green beans whatever but you put your peas in a row okay and every single time you use a can of peas you take it from the front and then when you go to the store and you buy a can of peas you don't put it in your pantry in your kitchen to use you take your new peas and you put it all the way in the back slide them all forward that way you're always taking the oldest can of peas and you're always adding the newest can to the back and they'll slowly rotate forward and that way every single time you're going to cook a meal instead of going to your normal you know pantry in the kitchen you go to your long-term storage pantry and you take the oldest can from the pantry to cook your meal before it goes bad and then you're putting your new stuff in the back so does that make sense always rotate your food always eat the oldest and store the newest now the way I just described it on the shelf like that when I first started this that's the way I did it I had some shelves in the basement and I stored them all there and it worked quite frankly it was a pain in the neck <laughs> but it did work but every single time I would go grocery shopping I would come down and, and I just had shelves on the wall uh, I should have had a table I didn't I just set this, the new stuff on the floor but if I had a pan, can of peas that I just bought this was before I was using Thrive Life I was just using canned goods from the store. If I had a can of peas, I would look at the row of peas and I would have to take every can down and leave them in the right order on the floor, take the newest can, put it all the way in the back, and then put all of those cans back into the shelf again. But that way I got the oldest one up front and the newest one in the back, and it really worked. That's what you need to do. You need to rotate your, your uh, emergency food storage. Now there are definitely better ways to do that if you want to spend a little bit of money um, and get some food rotation systems. Um, you can build them out of plywood if you want. Um, I'm going to show you here a food rotation system that Thrive Life has that works really well. And they are a little bit pricey, I'm, I'll admit, but they, are, um, they work really well and they could save you tons of time in rotating your food and if you do it properly it's going to save you hundreds and hundreds of dollars in, in food that does not go bad because you're rotating it now once you see this system you can if you want build a system like that out of plywood if you're handy and you can do that but um, the Thrive Life food rotations uh, system has three different sizes it's got uh, the large is for the family the number 10 family can and the one gallon can the medium is for the pantry can or for quart size cans and then the small is for um, it's like soup cans from the grocery store now I did a video several years ago that talked all about this and I showed how to put it together and how to use it and all of that I'll put a link in the description below and at the end on the end screen so if you want you can go and see that whole uh, thing but let me just show you a short little excerpt from that to show you how the uh, food rotation system works. But you can see now how this works. When you buy new food, you put it in at the top, it rotates around. That way when you take this, you're always using the oldest one so you can rotate it. See how that works. And then when you buy a new one, you just put it in at the top. Very cool. For the uh, family size cans that I have here, each track, each bay holds seven cans. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then there's four racks, four bays across per, per row. 
So you've got uh, 28 on each row. So that means if you're using this rack for the, for the family size cans, it'll hold a total of 112 cans. That's a lot of food. Now just so you know what I'm talking about here, let me show you the difference in sizes. On the left is the uh, Thrive Family Can. It's a one gallon can. That's a, that's a can of ground beef. In the middle is the Thrive Pantry Can. That is a can of uh, spaghetti sauce. That's like, uh, or they call it tomato sauce, but it's like if you go to the grocery store and buy a can of Prego spaghetti sauce or something like that, but this is in powdered form. And then on the right is the typical size can you get from the grocery store. That's whole beets. We actually <clears throat> use canned uh, beets because for some reason Thrive does not have freeze-dried beets. I don't know why. So we have the, uh, the beets on there on the right. So there's the three different sizes. Now besides the large rack that I just built, I just showed you, they also have these smaller racks that they call can solidator and it's designed to fit either the grocery store cans or the num or the uh, pantry cans these are also they're smaller and if you have a large uh, kitchen ca cupboards or a pantry in your kitchen these may very well fit into your pantry they have all the measurements on the website so be sure to measure carefully before you buy them I hate for you to buy them find out they don't fit in your cupboard so you know measure that carefully <clears throat> But this is actually the picture on the box, and this shows the uh, grocery store cans, and then you can see it's completely customizable as far as width, because they have a narrow one in there in the center for tuna cans. But we will not be using it for those size cans. We will be using it for <clears throat> um, pantry cans. And there's the actual rack down below. I took out the narrow one for the, uh, for the tuna, so that the pantry cans will fit in it. So this works very well for pantry cans. <clears throat> it's also designed so that this is the, uh, the brace that attaches them together and you've got another one on top and if you want to stack them this will work as the bottom brace for the next row. So you can stack them up higher, two or three high you can also connect them on here so you can extend them further to the to the side. You can make this, this whole thing as big as you want and like I said it'll store the pantry cans that are in there now or these size cans but this is a little bit I would have to adjust the size for that. So now I have actually taken two of these can solidator racks and attached them together right here. For now I just have a piece of plywood sitting on top. I gotta do something more permanent, but that'll sit right there and that'll hold all of our pantry cans. <clears throat> we love the Thrive uh, sauce mixes, so this is gonna work perfectly for this. This is the creamy white sauce. This is the classic tomato sauce, spaghetti sauce basically. Okay, so there's the Thrive Life food rotation system. Now, like I said, however you can rotate, that's what you need to do. If you want to get the, one of these, it's great. If you want to build your own sort of rotation system out of, out of plywood or however else you can figure out how to do it so they rotate automatically. Or if you want to just do it the way I did it first, where you put the oldest or the newest in the back and you always take the oldest from the front. However you do it, store what you eat and eat what you store. If you want to keep a good healthy food storage emergency pantry uh, going. Now, as I'm doing this video, we're right in the middle of the, of the lockdown. And the last time I looked, the, uh, the racks, the food storage racks were all out of stock. I'm very sorry about that. I assume they're going to be working on restocking as fast as they can. But this concept that I'm teaching you is much bigger than that. You know, uh, understand to rotate your food. 
And uh, if you want to get a, th a Thrive uh, food rotation system, I'm sure they'll be coming back in stock soon. But this at least lets you know what they are and how they work. And if you don't want, if you don't like to do that, then however you can, make sure you're rotating so your food doesn't get destroyed over time and you don't have to throw it all away and start all over again. There's nothing more heartbreaking, like Chris Fry found out, than having a, a, a large food pantry, emergency food pantry, and have to throw it all out and start all over again. So anyway, I hope that helps. As you, I know many of you are just beginning uh, to, to store food um, because of the pandemic. You, you realize now the necessity of it and you're just getting started. So I wanted to give, the, give you these concepts store what you eat and eat what you store so that you can get started on the right foot okay guys thanks for watching and leo thanks you for watching too be blessed live simple live free see you next time